Hey everybody, it's Chris Simon. Um, I used to teach in the classroom that, uh, that Mr. Fryer is in right now, and he asked me for a little video about where the rubber chicken and the idea for the rubber chicken came from. It started years ago when I taught over at Parkland. I taught first grade for a year, and then I transitioned up to fifth grade, which is a pretty big jump when it comes to teaching styles. And when I first started, I was struggling a little bit because I was still in the, hey, come on, friends, let's line up. And that's just not how you talk to fifth graders, as I'm sure some of you know. So uh, I was struggling a little bit. And I saw this rubber chicken in like a Dollar General or something like that. And it reminded me of when I was a kid. I used to watch uh, this TV show. It was a rerun, of course, called You Bet Your Life, which starred Groucho Marx. And all of a sudden, the rubber chicken would hang down from the ceiling. And it would have the word of the day. And, Groucho Marx would play with the contestant about what the word was and so on. So I always looked at it like, well, it's something to remind me, you know, to keep me in a good mood or something like that. It also ties in with that painting that you see on the back of the room uh, with Albert Einstein. And that's my favorite Einstein quote because it says, imagination is more important than knowledge. And what that meant to me and what I think his intent is, is that it's more important to invent new chapters in a science book than it is to simply recite what's already there. So combining those two things together, I would uh, hang the rubber chicken in outer space. I always had planets hanging from my ceiling and I'd put the rubber chicken up there because I thought it was funny. But then I told my kids, I said, look, Einstein says imagination is more important than knowledge. My imagination says there is a universe out there somewhere that has a giant rubber chicken floating around in it. <clears throat> and I said, and it's up to you guys to go ahead and make my dream come true. I said, one of you is going to go ahead and work for NASA. And what you're going to do for me is when you go up there and you have the space shuttle or another spaceship up there, you're going to take this really big rubber chicken and you just kind of shove it out into space so that my dream uh, of having a rubber chicken floating around in outer space would come true. So that's why you see the rubber chicken floating around in outer space. That's why you see Albert Einstein holding on to the rubber chicken. Um, and that's the story. So I hope you found it entertaining. And I, ha I have a lot of fun with it. So see you later, guys.